Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster Perfect Stats Guide. I've got a really uh, quick video here. I'm gonna do just <laughs> kind of some, I don't know, it seemed like random type stuff. <laughs> uh, just south of Miranda here, and I, uh, I'll i probably put footage of this in at some point later, but just south of Miranda, inside the desert area, you can find a cactar enemy. Uh, I actually really like to add that to the Velt early on. Uh, generally, you know, when I'm cycling the Velt uh, for, uh, you know, learning, it's usually for learning spells. Uh, although also, I, I guess, uh, just farming certain things as well. Uh, I like to have that added. For one thing, it's a good morph if you've taken the Ragnarok Esper. Uh, but also, it's good It's good AP. Uh, and actually, quite a bit of cash as well. I think it's like 10,000 uh, 10, gil. So, uh, a, you know, like I said, a pretty good uh, enemy to add. Uh, here, I usually grab a couple of Magus robes as well. Uh, th that's a really good armor for Gogo, uh, Strago, and Realm. Uh, gives you a, you know a little bit of a magic evasion boost. The defense isn't that great, but you know it's a robe, so not a whole lot um, not a whole lot we can expect from from a robe. And uh, who's this person? Oh, this. This lady uh, shows us kind of where certain, like, landmarks are. What was it? Doma, the Velt, and Narsh. So I suppose if you're trying to find those places in Kant, uh, I guess she can help out. But, uh, all right. I uh, busted a guy. Yeah. Uh, that guy is referring to the treasures in Kefka's Tower. We're actually going to, um, we're going to actually go up there, which is the Fanatic's Tower, actually, is the... I think that that's what it's called. Uh, sword breakers, uh, those are great. Uh, very, very, very good dagger. Uh, that can be used by a, a, actually quite a few different people. Uh, the sword breaker gives you thirty evasion, so very, very good for you know evading physical uh, attacks. Uh, I'm actually gonna skip uh, speaking with Lola for now. Uh, I'm gonna come back later, and uh, when I actually decide to recruit Cyan back, I'll, uh, I'll we'll, we'll stop in there. Uh, all right, so the next, <clears throat> excuse me, the next stop here is uh, Jador or Jador, and uh, let's see what's for sale. Circlets are pretty good. Um, you know, I don't know, pretty pretty decent like stats. Not not so great on defense and magic defense, but. I like that they give you a little bit of a boost to some of your some of your stats. Uh, weapon shop. Let's see here. Uh, man eaters are interesting. I think they give like twenty magic evade if I'm remembering correctly. So that's another kind of somewhat interesting uh, weapon. Also, they deal they deal more damage against. I think it's humanoids if I'm remembering correctly, but. Uh, that I don't know. I, I'm I'm not so you know interested in that. Um, okay. Oh, uh, all right. So at this point, also we can head into the uh, the auction hall, and uh, we can actually buy a hero ring uh, in in there. It's pretty expensive. It's like fifty fifty thousand gil, but uh, and it's also limited. You can only buy one of them. So. Uh, usually I just stop in here and grab that. There's there's other ways to get hero rings, but this one's, you know, pretty easy. Uh, again, a little expensive, but... Oops, there I... I did a pretty bad job there <laughs> splicing my video together. Whoopsies. But, uh, alright, so here's the chest. And inside, a fabulous hero's ring. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, you know, there's, there's other ways to get hero rings, but... Um, I don't know. I also, at a certain point, I, I actually don't really use them that much anymore. Uh, I think that, you know, probably during the World of Balance, the one that we get is is amazing, uh, and and for really a couple of characters. But uh, once you start building up your your magic stat, I feel like that that, that ring becomes a little bit less relevant. Um, you know, I, I mean, it's it's still pretty good, but uh, but yeah, I don't know. I think that. The, the, the other problem is like there's so many relics now that are really good that it's hard to justify uh, using using a hero ring. But anyways, 
All right, let's uh, let's head on outside. Uh, I, I would say so. You know, I don't know. There's not there's not that much as far as uh, armor and weapons that is that is you know that great from the vendors at this point. Uh, obviously, now that we you know, we've got the the airship, we can we can really visit anywhere that we want. But uh, the sword breaker again from Miranda is really good. Uh, those those Magus robes are really good as well. Um, the, you know, uh, Strago and Realm have a lot of options for uh, for robes. Uh, but again, I, I actually kind of prefer those Magus robes mostly uh, for the magic evasion. Uh, like the Behemoth suit, oh, excuse me, the Behemoth suit is really good. Uh, probably like their, maybe like stat wise, it actually even might be their best robe, but uh, it doesn't have any sort of magic evasion on it, so or physical evasion for that matter. Uh, so I, I don't I don't like it as much, but uh, it is still really good. Um, so, uh, also, you know, again, sword breaker, I mean, 30, 30 evasion is amazing. Uh, man eater, pretty, pretty decent as well, you know, but a little, was it like 20, 20 magic evasion, I think. But, um, anyways, all right, so here we're at, uh, we're at the fanatics, or I, I guess it's called the cultist tower here. Uh, there's the safety bit. That's actually really nice. I don't remember if that's the first one. And then there I accidentally missed the switch or forgot to hit the switch. And so now we'll have to zip on back downstairs to get to the uh, air anchor, which is, I don't know, that's a tool. I don't use that one very much, uh, but it can cause uh, instant death if, uh, like, an, the enemy, the, so you use it on them, and then if the enemy takes an action, uh, it can cause instant death if, uh, if they are vulnerable to it. But, um, all right, so the next floor here is the Genji shield. Um, and then at the at the end of this video here, and I'm, I gotta cut this because I'm out of time, but we get the best weapon for Shadow that sometimes casts stop. It's amazing. And then uh, the next one will be the Holy Dragon. So, uh, anyways, hope this guide was helpful, and hope you join me for more. Thanks for watching.